Because the current SWAT AI is so poopy and rare or not, I required the help of real people to clear rooms effectively. And if you saw some of my other videos, my wife is an absolute unit when it comes to conducting raids. Let's refresh ourselves. All right, so now you're in the gas station. So now you gotta clear out this entire area. Nope. Gun. Nice job. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no. It said, it said, oh. <laughs> absolute menace to society. My wife does not mess around, thus she makes a worthy co-op buddy. But currently, this is her build. Just look at that. that oh my gosh. That's horrible. That's oh my, disgusting. That's awful. Oh God. With that in mind, I thought it was time to deck her out with something more majestic, something with more power behind it, some real beefiness. I decided it was time to build my wife a computer. Let's talk parts, people. Now, my wife currently is in dental school to become a doctor. So realistically, she will not be playing ready or not with me a majority of the time because she has to study and be well prepared for her exams. Apparently, clearing rooms is a lower priority to being a nerd. Just kidding, I love you, babe. But she does have some applications from her school that she needs to use that require an okay dedicated GPU. So that'll be something I'll have to keep in mind. With that being said, we are not doing an RTX 4090 build here. No, absolutely not. I do not have the money for something like that, and her utilization of a 4090 would be something like 1%. So for the GPU, we have selected the brand new, beautiful GTX 970. I mean, look at that thing. Give, give that a whirl. Huh? Not bad. The reason I chose is it's an overall good card. I've salvaged it from a previous build, and even after like nine years or something like that, it's it's still ticking. So for our CPU, I started with a Ryzen 5 2600 because Red Team is superior, but also because once again, I had it on hand from an older build. That being said, we had some surprises along the way as far as the parts go, so stay tuned. For the RAM, I had a couple of old Corsair sticks laying around in 8x2 for 16 gigabytes of memory, which I thought would work decently. For the power supply, I did not have one. <laughs> I literally started this project with everything in mind except for the power supply. <laughs> you know, just the thing that will literally be the one thing that's required for the motherboard to even attempt to post. <laughs> Don't worry, I will resolve this later on. For the motherboard, I got a... <clears throat> Asus Prime B550 MA AC AMD AM4 third generation Ryzen trademark micro ATX motherboard PCIe 4.0 Wi-Fi ECC memory 1 gigabyte LAN HDMI 2.1 D sub 4K at 60 hertz addressable Gen 2 RGB header and AeroSync. So that should work out pretty fine. For the storage, I don't want my wife to be relegated to the dark ages with some spinning platter. So I went with the Samsung 990 Pro Series 1TB M.2 drive. Now for the case, my wife being a team pink kind of gal wanted a nice pretty pink case. And not only that, she wanted it to be, and I quote, smaller than my tower. So we settled on the China Special Vetru MO3. Now, if you've ever worked with micro ATX cases, it's not great. The amount of fiddling and farting around I had to do, it was inane, but we'll, we'll get to that here in a second. Alrighty, so we have our parts. Now, my friends, it is time to assemble. Eh? Doing a little, doing a little assembling there, eh? Very good. Yeah, you know, the one thing I can't wait for is to hear all of the comments. Oh, 60, 60, you're on the carpet, 60. You're gonna, you're gonna fry the motherboard. You're gonna fry the CPU, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. Life's good. Uh, if you've watched uh, Linus Tech Tips, you'll know that this is not an issue. Okay, we're, we're good. It's fine. All right, we're good. So I started off with taking off that door to the case, which I later found out literally just pops off. So unscrewing it like this was completely unnecessary. You'll notice doing silly, unnecessary things is a pretty consistent theme throughout the video. So just be prepared for this. You know, I don't think these people understand. I'm a man. I'm a, I'm a dude. I'm a guy. I don't, I don't need this. I don't need instructions. I don't need those. That's not going to come back to haunt me. 
I went forth with my ego unchecked, slowly taking apart the case bit by bit, seeing what was and wasn't necessary. Here's where I took a nice long whiff of the motherboard. Don't want to miss out on any of those carcinogens given to me by the PCB factory. You also notice I moved my legs several times over, and that's because doing this on the floor as a six foot four man is not optimal. Okay, we're getting rid of this fan. I don't, I don't know what type of fan this is. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I have two NZXT fans that I'm planning to use. Um, so we're gonna. I, I have no idea how this is gonna integrate with that. This thing. Uh, what? Is, yeah, look at that. Bold as brass. Look at that bad boy right there. Made in China. What a guy. Figure that out later. There we go. Nice. All right. Let's do this. Oh, is my mic still there? It's still there. Okay. Yeah, we got the uh, the motherboard. Uh, we got two screws in. We got two two of them in. So we're gonna throw the next few of them in there. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, my foot. I can't feel my foot. I can't feel my foot. No. No. Uh, I'm too tall for this. Ugh. As I said before about unnecessary work, after all of that, I realized I should have placed the CPU as well as the fan on the motherboard before inserting. So I had to go back and undo all of that progress. It was the end of day one, and I was utterly tired building this thing. So. I put our little work in progress to bed and had dreams of sugar plums and Sig Spears. Waking up on day two refreshed and with less silly goose syndrome, I realized that those fans were just not going to work. I needed a power supply and the RAM I installed was pretty weak. So I went ahead and purchased some new parts to make my wife a pro gamer, big league girl gamer game. I can't wait for someone to be like, oh, 60, are you very disheveled? Are you okay? No, I'm not. Thank you for asking. This is day two of this computer build of what should have been probably just one night. But in, in the mail, in the mail, we got our new RAM. We got our new RAM, our, our Corsair Vengeance Pro. It's a 16 gigabyte kit. So then we got two of those bad boys. So we're gonna take out the one we have in there and it's RGB, which means more FPS for you and me. Additionally, we got our we got our fans here. Um, these NZXT ones are gonna come out because um, I, apparently you have to have a very specific kit, uh, a little module and everything. And I, I did not want to piecemeal this thing together anymore. I'm annoyed, I'm tired, I'd like to go back to bed. So that uh, being said, we're gonna be taking these bad boys out. We have a new CPU coming in later today and then the power supply coming in later on today as well. So, uh, we'll just, we'll throw these in and then we'll uh, come back later today and finish off the rest. Again, just to reiterate, I was not sponsored by the coarse hair people, although that would have been sick. The parts I bought just so happened to be available for same day shipping. So that's what I went with. We have the new CPU in. We're gonna replace it right now. Oh, that's the stuff right there. Oh, oh, that's right. It comes with the cooler. Well, now we have two. First, first try. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get this doo-doo for brains out of here. Let's slap this bad boy in there. Oh, oh, okay. All right, corner to corner. Corner, corner. I hope. All right, let's just get this on here. A little dabble do ya. All right, a few turns and see. I think we've done it. All right, let's plug it on in. 
Switch. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go. So we got the boot, but is it ready or not for ready or not? Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. All of our efforts, all of our, our, our worries, our strifes have led to this moment right here. Lord, please let this GTX 970 work in your way. Okay, we're boot, we're booting in the game. Now here's the real test. Here we go. I believe in you. Let's go, boys. We're gaming. It works. Uh, it's kind of crappy on the FP, it, but it works. Now I can hear you all saying this right now. Whoa, 60, why aren't you just screen record? Why are you screen recording? Why are you screen recording? Um, I tried to do that uh, just with like the screen and it did not work. And if it does, well then I'm too stupid to figure it out. So, so be it. Let's go, let's do the most intensive map. Give this a shot. Oh, we're loaded in boys. Okay, actually we're not doing too bad. Not great. Get this door open. Look at us. Look at this. We can pie corners. We're pieing corners with the pink machine. With the pink machine. Oh, get down there, buckaroo. Show oh, he's, he's sneaking. Where are you sneaking to, little guy? Where did he sneak off to? He's, oh, oh, oh. Found him. He's, he's done. He's goosed. His goose is cooked. Done. All right. Now here is the real question. Can we play Minecraft? Mojang Studios. All right, we'll just, we'll, we'll play a little single player. We'll just create a little survival world, see how it does. It's pretty okay. It's a little jittery. Actually, yeah, it's getting pretty jittery. I don't know why that, that's happening. Maybe because the world is still loading in a little bit. Now, at this point, I would say we, we're probably gonna need to get a new graphics card at some point. This thing is obviously on its way out. Uh, I'm also noticing that the fans are not spinning. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Pulling out the GoPro to show you. Uh, those fans. You have a better seat. Yeah. Those fans are not spinning. So, don't know what's happening there. That's no bueno. Uh, huh. Alright, let's debrief here a little bit. We built ourselves a working PC and got it to play ready or not on a 2K monitor decently well. We overcame a lot of strife in the building process and came out on top a more learned individual. That being said, looks like the next thing to do is buy a new graphics card because uh this is this is no good. Th this is no good. <laughs> Would I do this project again for my wife? Of course, but uh, otherwise I think I'm gonna be taking a sabbatical from my 2023 PC building simulator. This is also one of the most disjointed videos I've made in a long time. So uh, excuse the mess. <laughs> I know this video is nothing like my last, uh, but considering the heated nature <laughs> of the comment section, I just, I needed a break. I love having serious conversations, but man, after a while of replying to those comments, it's just, it's draining. <laughs> also, if you are interested in buying any of the components you saw in this video, please check down in the description where I will have a list of affiliate links. Now, these are Amazon affiliate links, so I do get a small percentage back on those purchases, but it does not cost you anything extra. It's just another way for you to support me. All right, enough whining from me. Thank you so very much for watching. The fact that we currently have almost 7,000 subscribers on the channel is absolutely baffling to me. So again, thank you all so very much. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, come join the Discord. Link will be down in the description below. Anyways, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, remember our sole objectives. Stop the killing, stop the dying. I'll see y'all later.